Guys, welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, and as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you this week's set of reviews and updates and things like that. A little bit later than the patrons are used to, so I'm releasing them all at once. Um, I had a lingering cough that I just couldn't shake, and I almost pushed this episode out, but um, I'm feeling mostly better, still a little bit scratchy and dry, but otherwise I'm able to speak for uh, more than a couple of minutes and in complete sentences. So with that being said, I have a couple of films I wanted to review. I got notified that they would be leaving Amazon Prime within about a week or so, so I thought I'd watch those. I have the usual Roller Coaster Tycoon update, and I'll have an update for that once I finish that review, and then my Doom 2 gameplay updates. So to start it off, um, a film that I finally had to mark off of my unofficial bucket list is the original Crow with Brandon Lee. So um i finally watched it i've been hearing a lot of things about it about how it was cursed the whole thing with brandon lee and all of that but overall the film was pretty enjoyable and pretty good a lot of it is set in its time for what the look and feel is but in general it is a, uh, an enjoyable film uh, one of the things that stood out to me though was how much brandon lee's face paint with the white stuff on his face after the crow revives him reminded me of Heath, Leather, Heath Ledger's Joker. Um, I wouldn't have thought anything um, else beyond that until we get to the later in the film in the end sequence when we have the uh, main bad guy sitting around the table with his henchmen and then um, Brandon Lee running through that set of buildings which continued to remind me a lot of the Dark Knight. So the Crow version with the main bad guy and his henchmen reminded me of all the mob bosses in the Dark Knight when the Joker comes up and tells him of his plan and um, all that stuff for the whole scene with a pencil and all that. And then with the Crow or Brandon Lee running through the city at night reminded me of Batman escaping from the police and that whole scene of him escaping um, to the point where it made me wonder that um, is the Dark Knight a pseudo homage to the Crow? Um, also because of what happened with Heath Ledger that that all came into effect as well so a lot of parallels could be drawn. Um, I did a quick google search to see if that was even a thing and there's a bunch of YouTube articles and comments and reddit threads and things all about that so I didn't do a further look but that does appear to be a, a case where it does look like it. I didn't look to see if that was officially acknowledged anywhere but um, it does appear to be a source of um, minor conspiracy. But overall, I do recommend watching it to the point where I do want to watch the remake that just came out recently as of this recording. So I'll probably watch that when it's on streaming because I did see that it's getting panned by everybody. So um, not necessarily worth a theatrical release, but maybe it's worth watching on streaming. Uh, so with that being said, I did also have a chance to watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Um, this is a film on the flip side where I didn't enjoy any of it. Um, it did seem interesting enough to the point where um, the premise was good, but I didn't think that... Um, it was executed very well. The pacing was really, really slow. I got bored in the first 45 minutes. I almost stopped watching it, but then I'm like, well, I set out to watch it, so let me push through it. And the ending was fine, but it didn't really deserve that, or they need to spend more time on the government side, the alien side, anything else. But what they did, it just felt a lot of buildup with very little payoff. So hard for me to recommend. Um, I'm going to be in the minority of like the 10 or 15 percent of people who didn't like the film. So um, I will admit that that's probably just me. But um, in general, maybe it was good for the time. And we've had a lot of buildup since then. This probably could have be the one of the launching films for this kind of genre but for me um it was okay and that's about it 
Um, as far as this week's Roller Coaster Tycoon gameplay, I had to ch a chance to watch the Ruby Group or play the Ruby Group level Future World. Um, not really much to say here. Um, I recommend keeping the existing rides in place and then building around it, building your way up with a mix of roller coasters, uh, small rides, uh, water rides, and all that stuff. Um, if you don't go too crazy with the pricing, but if you price everything right enough, you'll be able to build enough rides and make enough money back to continue building, eventually hire cleaning crew and maintenance guys and all that usual stuff. So just a regular gameplay. I mean, nothing easy about it, nothing hard about it, just a medium gameplay level while you, while you, or where you work your way through it. So, um, if you just want a regular old level, nothing interesting about it, then I recommend this one. So... Um, no special tips for me either. Just That's just about it. Just work your way through it and don't go crazy with the right pricing and you will be fine. Um, but with that being said, um, I think I'm now at the point where most of the um, minimum guest count and park rating levels are completed. I have one or two here and there left, but um, I'm having a bit of trouble getting through them. So I think the next couple of gameplays might be the Six Flags theme parks, or I might play around with that, but um, the rest of the park, the parks that I have are um, park value levels, so I'm looking to see if there's a way to unlock all the Roller Coaster Tycoon maps so I can get into those and check out how those are, because um, I kind of want to see how those are, but it hasn't unlocked any of those, I guess, until I finish all the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 levels, so that kind of sucks, but... I'm looking for a way to unlock those, but if I can't, then I'll, the, those gameplays will be slowing down until I can beat the rest of the maps for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Um, so otherwise this week for ga other gameplays, I did have a chance to finish the Doom 2 mod Legacy of Rust, so notably Episode 2 uh, Counterfeit Eden. Overall, very beautifully designed levels, um, fun to play, very enjoyable. Um, they are much harder than the first episode, um, the Vulcan Abyss. So by the time you get to the Vulcan Abyss, um, those levels are considered easy now compared to um, Counterfeit Eden. So I did have God Mode on so I can enjoy the levels. But um, if you're you know, more than just an amateur player like me, then you should be okay. But for amateur players, the levels will be a little bit difficult. But as far as um, does level design and all that, very beautifully done, very enjoyable. I enjoyed the new weapons and all that, so um, I recommend playing through it. Whether or not you have God Mode on, it is um, worth playing for the beautiful level design. Um, so with that being said, I was able to upload the long play version at a slightly higher quality. Um, so a bit of back-end update. Um, I'm having a, a weird time with Kaden live to merge the videos. Is giving me an error that was not get, that it wasn't giving me before. So as far as I can tell, it looks like an issue with a recent app update. I tried going back to a prior version, but that was giving me problems. So the merge that I did in this case was with um, OpenShot Video Editor. So that's why it looks a little bit different. So I am looking for another way to another app to handle it better. So um, hopefully I get that resolved by the time I get to merging the long play for my next gameplay. But in the meantime, I, I still can use Kaden live for the podcast, but as far as long play videos, I hope I have an update by the time I get to the next one I need to do. So with that being said, um, the next game, gameplay that uh, I have started is the sequel to Pirate Doom called Pirate Doom 2. Uh, apparently there's some fixes, um, weapons updates and character model updates and things like that along with 32 brand new levels so I thought I'd give that a shot and see how it goes. Um, so the playlist is already available up on the YouTube channel so you can check those out. Um, so far the initial levels are pr um, pretty well done and very beautiful so um, um, you guys can check out those videos. I'll have those reviews as the weeks go by and I continue more gameplay, um, more of the gameplay. So. Um, with that being said, all the anything I upload to YouTube is available on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, uh, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. Um, you can get early access to the podcast and ad-free version of it and all of that at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in and